participants. Our Tara Molina did some digging. She brings us more on the man behind today's Facebook Live killing. Tara? Well, Rob, honestly, this just adds to an already incredibly disturbing story here today. But this man had absolutely no criminal record, zero history with Cleveland police, no run-ins with the law. But his activity on social media before that horrific shooting does say a lot. I just snapped, man. That is what Steve Stevens had to say for himself minutes before parking his car approaching an innocent elderly man, shooting and killing him. Thinking it through, he laughs. Massacring <laughs> His only concern? Proving to people watching him that he is capable of murder. Right, man. I just always been a monster, man. But has he? Before his monstrous acts this afternoon, Steve Stevens wasn't on the radar for Cleveland police. Zero criminal history. He works with children at Beachbrook Behavioral Health in Cleveland. I'm a case manager for Beachbrook. I got my beach. I'm killing with my Beachbrook badge on too. Beachbrook staff won't tell us how long he's worked there or exactly what he does, but a spokesperson says they're shocked. Quote: We are shocked and horrified, like everyone else, to think that one of our employees could do this is awful. But Stephen's Facebook, now removed by site operators, <laughs> featured videos of him in shooting ranges, posts tying him to local churches and organizations, and status updates like this one, published just hours before this, detailing financial problems. He claims to have lost everything at local casinos and says he's reached a breaking point. In the video, consistently bringing up a breakup. You know, I was living over there with her. I just woke up Friday. I just couldn't take it no more, man. I just left. And um, yeah, here I am. Stevens names his ex-girlfriend in the video and even blames her after